Here's some information on high pass and low pass filters. Okay, what do you got to know? High pass filter lets the high information pass through it and it's going to block off the low information. So high pass filter is actually what you engage when you're trying to remove bass and boominess from vocals or the bass guitar or the kick drum, whatever is creating that low end rumble, maybe something humming in the room really down low in the garbage range. Get rid of that by using the the, the high pass filter which allows high information to pass through it, depending on where you set it, it's going to keep all the low out. The other side of that, we got a low pass filter. That's what you're going to turn on if you get, let's say you get a lot of high end, you know, static y garbage going on on guitars or something when you got distortion on. Use the high pass filter. Before, you know, sometimes I'll go in, use noise gates and things like this to remove some sounds that suck. But a lot of times, if you mess with your low pass filter, you can play with that and get it set right where. It's taking off high end, and that's a lot of that staticky, hissy stuff you don't need. So that'll help you out a lot. So that's going to allow low information to pass through, and it's going to keep high information out. And that starts as high as it gets, 20 kilohertz. The K in front of the hertz means it's thousands of hertz up there, as opposed to the hertz on the other end starts at zero and goes to one, two, three, four hertz, five hertz, see what I'm saying, goes up. This one, 20 kilohertz and comes down. So... The high pass filter is going to allow high information to pass through, high information passing through, low information out, no low information. The low pass filter is going to allow low information to pass through, keeping high p information out. Okay, so that's going to start the other way. If, if you want the high to pass through, use the high pass. If you want the low to pass through, use the low pass. <laughs>